Hello, I am Lenore, and uh, it's a couple days before Wave Gothic Treffin. I'm packing my bags, I've got a corset to lace, and it seems like a good time to address on video one of my major pet peeves. Improperly laced corsets, which I see all the time out at the clubs and anywhere you go. You see women who don't know what the hell they're doing. See guys who don't know what the hell they're doing either, because they also wear corsets. So, um, first I'm going to talk about three of the most common crimes, and uh, then I'm going to uh, show you how to properly lace a corset, and then I'm going to put it on and demonstrate how it's supposed to look. Um, so, here we go. Wrong. The blob. If you have kind of two straight lines, they're right next to each other, God damn it, it's hard to do this. <laughs> They're right next to each other, and you've got this type thing. And, you know, you, you have done it properly, where you have the strings in the middle to pull it in, but you have two straight lines. You're most likely, your corset is too large, and this was a purchasing mistake. Um, a lot of people do this, and it's simply because everyone's used to buying clothes which either fits them or is slightly larger, because... Everyone wants to be able to wear their clothes longer, and uh, they're used to buying things that fit. However, with corsets, this is not the proper logic. You need to buy it smaller, because you can always further unlace a corset. You can always pull it out and have a wider distance between the two sides, but you can't pull it in any farther than the two sides go. And so, quite often, people will buy it where, you know, they just buy their corset a little bit too large, and they end up not actually creating any hourglass, but kind of end up making themselves look like a blob, where it's just kind of a square corset thing. And it, it makes you look fat, actually, because, you know, a corset, everyone sees it, and they expect the corset to take you in on the sides. And when it isn't taking you in, it makes you seem like you're fatter than you are. And, uh, unfortunately, a lot of uh, larger girls actually do make the mistake of buying much larger corsets because they're so used to it. And it's really sad because corsets look great on bigger girls when they are wearing the good, right size corset that takes it in. Because if you don't have anything to take in, then there's nothing, you're not going to get a good curve either. A lot of small people don't necessarily look so great in corsets. Um, but yes, common mistake. Your corset is too large, and I'm sorry, but there's no way to fix that, except for to either gain a hell of a lot of weight, <laughs> which is not recommended, or to buy smaller corsets in the future. Or may maybe you can, like, hack your corset apart and try to make it smaller, but I wouldn't recommend it. That sounds hard. Try to just sell it on eBay. Common mistake number two. And uh, number three also has, they're very similar, they're kind of the opposite of each other. Number two is the awkward V. And the issue here is that most of the time, it means you laced your corset where you tightened at the bottom rather than at the middle. And I'm, I'm going to show how to tighten at the middle later, but if you lace it and just have it at the bottom, quite often you'll have it where the top, you kind of have this V that forms. And, you know, not only does it not look very good from behind, but there is a tendency, or more likely tendency, for your breast to pop out, especially women with larger boobs. Your boobs may pop out if you have the V in back, because you just don't have anything holding your boobs in. Uh, it's loose at top, and so don't do it. <laughs> um, I will teach you how to avoid it, but that's simply you laced your corset to the bottom rather than to the middle. The third wrong way is what I call the plow. And it's the opposite of the V. Your boobs are not likely to pop out, but you're gonna look really stupid from the side because you end up with, over here, this plow shape where it looks like the front of a train or, you know, the front of a plow. <laughs> it looks like you're trying to make a furrow into something because you have this weird point sticking out above your abdomen. And uh, it looks really bad. Um, and from behind, everyone wants to come and pull your bottom lace. They're like, God, just pull it together, you look terrible. Okay, proper corset is the hourglass. And, um, 
before the strings are tied, you want it to be uh, perpendicular lines to each other, pretty much. Uh, roughly two to four inches space. Uh, don't ask me to say that in centimeters. Um, if it's, you know, if it does touch in the very center when you pull it together, it's not too bad. But if it touches all the way, like with the uh, blob, the first one, then uh, then your corset is too large. As it is, if it's touching in the center, then you're kind of pushing it. And, you know, I actually have that on a number of corsets. I, you know, I bounced back in size and weight. Everyone does. And uh, so sometimes I'll have corsets, which will go further because I was bigger and then I lost weight. And on other occasions, those corsets will fit me fine because I gained back weight. Um, but yeah, when you pull the strings, it should echo the way your waist looks in that the sides should kind of come together and the middle should be tighter than the uh, top and bottom. And, you know, so sometimes it'll look a little more extreme depending on if you have a tight lacer or not. And uh, it matches the curve it creates. Now I'm going to show how to lace a actual physical corset because I have to lace this one before I go off on my trip. And it may be a little difficult to see because I don't have very good lighting in my room, but I have put it on a uh, light, so hopefully that will help. And okay. mm. typically a corset string is really freaking long. It's like a huge single shoelace. And so you're going to start at the top. Okay. I wish I had a time elapsed thing on this, but I don't know how to do time elapse. But basically, you uh, let's just place the corset down. Now you can, you know, in, out, doesn't matter, you know, how you like to do your crosses. You can, you know, have it where you always go over, or you can have it where you always come from the inside. Just as long as you have it on the outside when you have your uh, loops, but I'll get to that when I uh, actually get to the loops. Until we're at the loops, doesn't make much sense to mention them. Yes. And this is an important step. In the middle, you skip across. that's where you're going to pull. You're going to grab a hold of these and they're going to be how you actually pull in your corset. Here I'm going to straighten out the laces because some of them are looking a little funky. It's just what happens when you have a flat lace rather than a uh, round one. You can use round laces, you can use ribbons, you can use leather thongs, you know, <laughs> whatever the heck they're called. You can use whatever you want as long as it will fit for your grommets. You can actually use shoelaces if you absolutely need to. It's a little more of a pain in the butt if you uh, have to use two strings rather than one, but it does work. For that, you would uh, have one coming from the bottom and one coming from the top, and they'd meet in the middle, and that's where you'd have them go. Kind of. That's another important step for this type of thing down here. Tie a knot. Because I don't want it coming back through. And I didn't tie that knot far enough away. I don't want to tie it too far away from the end. The reason for that. 
that is because you want it to be the middle, not the end, that things get pulled to. Okay, I fixed all the lacing so that now they're lying flat where they were kind of off the kilter before. Now, you can see you have it where the two main strings are in the middle. And uh, now I can put this. The best way to connect a corset is from the top to the bottom shirt underneath, which you should if you're wearing a sipes. Then you see you grab those two lacings you left out. And as you see, hopefully you see <laughs> that it has a curve which matches the curves on the sides, more or less. And uh, this is a relatively small corset, so it's, you know, probably pushing about five inches in between. That's not necessarily a problem. As I said, you can always loosen a corset, but you can't tighten one beyond its tightness. This corset I will be able to wear even if I lose a hell of a lot of weight. <laughs> and so you should have some sort of hourglass and uh, see from the side. There's no thing sticking out. Uh, this is obviously a underbust corset, so you can't tell if my boobs would pop out. Um, that's another thing. Technically, the uh, the awkward V. Uh, you know, if you do it on an underbust corset, you may not notice it as much because your boobs won't be poking out because they're already popping out because it's an underbust corset. But that doesn't mean you should do it because it just looks bad. And so, uh, that has been how to lace the corset properly.